Hey Mom, I'm going to create a quick video and I'm truly taking you behind the scenes from every step. So you saw I just clicked the icon, hit new meeting, and now I want to invite myself. I have another video tutorial about this. So copy invite link. Okay, so I just sent and the link to myself. Now I'm going to go on some other devices and it will let me log in. Let me see here. Join the meeting on this device. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm in four times so I can show a follow up to Zoom breakout rooms. And thank you for all of you, uh, to all of you that have watched those. All right, so what I want to show you is I'm going to start a breakout room. I'm going to have two rooms. Uh, I'll assign automatically for this one. But if I, and then if when I hit create, it will give me more room, um, options here. And what I'm going to do is create them just for a minute for this purpose and 10 seconds to come out of it, they are automatically going to move in and out. And when I open all rooms, what I want to do is show you another step from a, a question from someone who watched the YouTube video. While we're waiting for the breakout rooms to come back. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services and I appreciate you checking out these videos, tutorials, we have podcasts and blogs with additional tips as well as downloads and, and resources. And we have some upcoming opportunities whether it's our online courses with Zoom tutorials, more in-depth and additional um, resources and videos and tutorials beyond what we have on YouTube. And currently we do have an upcoming Zoom workshop, final one of the year. I don't offer them too often. If you're watching this later on, but definitely check out the course. The workshop will be uploaded into that course as well. All right, so time is up for the one minute. This is where you can either close the breakout rooms and if you're wanting to add more time, you click the keep breakout rooms open and you click that and it doesn't give a timeline. You can just, it, that's what extends it. Remember too, you can broadcast a message. I'm going to give you five more minutes and then what you would do then on your own phone, you would set a timer to remind yourself to um, when five more minutes is up. This is also a countdown timer, just to remind you of that too, when you have set up your time. Now that it's over, there's no more countdown, but you have extended it uh, by just leaving the rooms open. Now close all rooms, everyone will come back, giving them 10 seconds for the purpose of this video. Um, a lot of times too, I will send a broadcast message letting people know I'm bringing you back now so that they're not in the middle of a sentence and uh, they're ripped away, especially when they're not having to click the, the button leave room that um, it's happening automatically. So I hope this little tutorial of how to extend and expand breakout rooms timeframe was helpful to you. Again, my name is Patricia. Hope you have a light bulb learning moment today and that you're able to facilitate those for your participants. Thanks again.